Hi everyone, welcome back to the CWFR Games channel. I'm your host, CWFR. Guys, first of all, I want to give a shout out to my subscribers. Thank you for giving the support that um, I've been wanting. Um, well, actually, I have what I need <laughs> to keep the channel going, first of all. And thank you for subscribing. And uh, for those who haven't subscribed but you are checking out my channel, go ahead and hit the like button. And we got us time uh, making our... Uh, making, uh, wait, I put my helmet back on. There we go. It's a little bit better. Okay, but anyhow, um, guys, you know, hit the like button, show your support, subscribe, uh, talk to your family or friends, and uh, I do need your support, and I would appreciate it. But regardless of that, today what we have planned, um, I'm going to show you the finishing, the finishing touches of what I've been working on, and that is my Guardian Farm. So, this is actually slime farm instead, because I have so many slime to spawn here, it's ridiculous. But anyhow... With that being said, I'm going to take care of business here, and if you see I really got bad omens, so what we're going to do is head back to the base here shortly. I want to show you what I came up with uh, my own design. Um, now I saw, I did a little bit of research on this as well. Uh, it's the first time I've made a guardian farm. There it is, right there, and it does work. You see the guardians are spawning, um, and they do eventually make their way down to the pit and they, they burn. So it's actually a pit, but I have so many fish or spawn. It's crazy. So let me tell you how I did my farm. Okay, so you see right there, that's Primerzine, uh block right there. And then that's, uh, oh, what is that? Uh, what is that? I can't, what's that called? It is called Dark Prismarine. Hey, I can talk. I can talk. I can really talk. Talk. Okay. But I use a lot of glass here. Um, some individuals, some YouTubers uh, that play Minecraft, they uh, use their sand uh, as the walls. But remember that you need to cover the entire area where the temple was located. And if you look at this area, that's about the right size of the temple and where the guardian spawns. So that, that's a pretty wide area. Um, at first, I actually expanded this uh, farm, uh, the location for my guardian farm, because, yeah, there's some more spawning right up there. But anyhow, um, that originally it wasn't big enough because there's some spawning outside, and so it was suggested to me that I expand it. So I took the time to do it, and yes, instead of just using sand like I did the first time, in which, yep, yep, we got one right there. Yep, you see that? Yep. So it is working. The way I designed it, it does work. Um, probably not as effective as some of the other farms, but it's a beginner's farm. I would say myself, I put a lot of time in it. So I'm not going to do anything else to it, tweak it at this time, because this is uh, this one series I'm doing, one a mini series that I'm going to be doing on Minecraft. Uh, as long as I get the support and the subscribers and the viewership, I'll keep on going. Uh, but anyhow. So I expanded the farm. I used sponge. So I already have some sponge. I'm like, what's this used for? <laughs> what's sponge used for? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I got to dry up the sponge, and then I can use it to soak up water. Hello? And then um, I also checked out some other videos about, um, like, how to actually do it effectively, and I was doing it correctly. So how, was, how you do it is you section it off little by little. You don't try soaking up one area. Just with, I mean, if you were doing to do that, you would have to have like stacks, stacks of uh, sponges. See, look at that. Yep, that's working. See right there. We can peer, take a look here. Peer in. And what happens is they drop. Say, so look at that. Yep, they're dropping. And what happens if they have any type of um, like a crystal or a shard? They drop it, and it goes into the um, hoppers, and hoppers go into the chest. And so I already got been collecting. Collecting quite a bit, and I'll show you here in a moment. Um, but anyhow, uh, back to explaining how this works. So um, I went ahead and initially, um, I'm not going to ruin it for you. So you'll check out my video on how I started, it, and it's gonna, the title that that the video is going to be uh, the process of um, um, building a guardian farm. This is the final result of this work. And it took me a week and a half to do this, to get it 
sorted out in hours. It took me a long time. So if I was to do this in one day, it'd probably take me eight, maybe 10 hours to do, because that's about how much time I spent, maybe a little bit more. Uh, but anyhow, so with that being said, let's go ahead and check it out inside. Um, you can tell, obviously tell that I have a lot of soul sand because soul sand rises. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, magma blocks, they push down. But I tried different designs in my head about what I could possibly do. And I'm disappointed, guys. If Mojang wants to get an idea is be able to curve so that it rises, right? But why can't we curve the that process? Now, this is a bedrock version. So there's other versions that may allow you to do that. So you see you got fish that are just hopping out because of that. You see all the, oh, sorry, uh, all the fish there. Um, so we got, <laughs> they got gardens there taking a look at me. <laughs> oh yeah, look at him, look at him. Yeah, he's just taking a peek. He's, he's got, he has me his eyes on me. Being, anyhow, yeah, they're just spawning, it's working. And this is all that really matters, is that the farm works. But anyhow, you got soul sand, pushes up. And if you look at top there, there's section off in four different ways. Initially, um, I didn't put that in there because I was just like, man, how am I going to get the guardians to go into one centered location? And I just, they were just flopping around and all the fish and uh, just, you know, they go up there and they pretty much just baked themselves. That's pretty much what's happening. So anyhow, I sectioned it off in four different sections where I have water running. Now, if you look a little closer, you can see it right here and not as well. Let me go ahead and tuck in, and I'll show you here in a moment. Yeah, it's like there's yeah, they're just spawning. So there's slime over there that's ready to spawn, and yep, look at that, it's working. See, look at that. It's dropping, it's working. That's all that matters, that it works, like I said. But anyhow, um, so if you look right there, there's a section off right there. That way that water flows in, but also pushes anything that gets in that, that path of the, there's the total of four. So it can get one of those paths and it pushes them down to a center location. And it works. It really does. So let me uh, actually take some time. Let's go inside and check this out. And pretty much it's just baking the fish up there with the soul sand. That's all it's doing. And if we take a look here, um, we got some crystal here. We're actually getting some more. Uh, we got some over here, crystal right there. Yep, there they are. There is. This is perfect. See, it's working. You hear them? They give me a little squeak. And, yep. There we go. Drop something. Drop something in the back there. So let's go and take a look here. Uh, yep, some more crystals. Got some shards. And... So it's working. It's just taking a little bit of time. So I don't need the fish here. But yeah, the fish just drop. They cook, whatever, they drop. And to see how much fish is in there. It's just tons of fish. Tons of fish. But I've noticed this about guardians. They don't always carry a crystal or a shard. Not all of them do. And so this is going to actually take some time. With my sword, it has what I have... Was it looting? Yeah, looting three. So that actually doubles anything that you you get. So if you kill like a creeper, you get it, it doubles it or it triples it. Whatever it is that they're carrying or what they drop, it doubles it. Like I can go kill the slime, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's let's put the slime up that I have, and I'll go out here and kill some slime. I'm actually making a point about this process, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here shortly. So you get four. Normally you would get two. You get two, not not four. Maybe maybe it is four. Maybe it is four. Let's see. Let's do that. See, seven. So I got three. So it's not four all the time. And it's because of the looting uh, enchantment that I have on the sword. So if I were to take time, and I could probably spend an entire video, an entire day, going around and just you know killing a whole bunch of guardians or taking them out, or everyone say it, and they would just drop shards and crystals and it, and to an effect that would probably be quicker i guess but that's a lot of time and that's just something so it's just easier to just get it automated where they spawn you get them and you get them to a drop 
and you go away for a while, come back, check your chest, get their loot, and of course use it to make lanterns, sea lanterns, which is better than just having um, glowstone. But anyhow, uh, that's pretty much my guardian farm. And uh, let's go in here real quick. And then I want to explain this in here. So you see the signs. And most of you know about the one that gave me the suggestion about the soul, st uh, soul stone. <laughs> soul stone. You got it right there. Soul sand. Uh, but anyhow, so you go chess, hoppers, space, signs, lava. You don't have to do this. But before I have some water right here. And, okay, I got to fix that. I got to fix that. Okay, and that's what I was afraid of. So let me go ahead and put some glass there. And let's see here. Where's my glass? I got, I had, like, I got so much loot. I mean, it's just crazy how much stuff I got doing this. All right, there we go. So, um, so it goes, uh, so you got chess, hoppers, signs, lava, space, then more signs. You don't have to put the signs there, but I did because I have water going up there, and I did not want the water coming out and just ruining my lava, turning it into cobblestone and turning it into obsidian, which, mo you know, look at that. See, this is how effective it is. I got cod and tons of salmon. Oh, man. I don't have to worry about food. <laughs> not at all. Okay, but on with the video. Um, I'm just glad it's done, and I'm glad it works, and that's all that matters. So, um, let me go ahead and take out the slime. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to go and take them out. But I got so many slime here, it's ridiculous. Just spawn, spawn, spawn like crazy. Spawn like crazy. So I can say this is my slash guardian slash slime farm. Yeah, yeah, I think it'll work. See that already? 30, 37. 37 slime. That's what I'm talking about. So there's a difference. The looting effect, if you can enchant, see what I'm talking about? <laughs> I just took out one, and I had two more to spawn. Cut off one head. Another one will take its place. Hydra. But anyhow, yeah, so this is actually working. They're spawning inside. This guardians are spawning, and also fish. And look at that. That's probably the most guardians I've seen spawn in this since I got it complete. I've completed it. But it's working, and that's all that matters to me. This works. Works. All right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take out these um, slimes. So you're probably wondering, well, what do, we have, what do you uh, have planned for us today? Well, I'm glad you asked. So I am going to work on a simple, uh, simple uh, achievement. And um, I'm probably just going to... Yes, we're going to gather up those, um, gather all but one shulker box uh, to take back to the base. This is one way to actually get your, mend up your equipment, your, uh, your, uh, see right there, I'm just about pretty much uh, my mending. And uh, just a FYI, some of you already know this or not, may know this or not, may know it. If you don't, but if you get like three or four guardians that gang up on you and they start shooting with, I guess, that laser or whatever it is, um, they'll take you out quickly. Um, that's one of the other things in Minecraft that I learned will take you out. Um, but anyhow, yeah, let's go ahead and head back to the base. Let me go get the shocker boxes all but uh, one. And... Let's see, which one do I want to leave behind? That is full of stuff I want to take. Full of sand I want to take. Full of soul sand. That needs to definitely go back to the base. Oh my goodness, I have so much stuff here. Well, cobblestone I do need eventually. But you know what? I'm not going to take it. So that's garbage. That sink and all this. I'll take all the fish. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take all the fish. Okay. Okay, I'll just go ahead and take everything back. and Because I have chests there already, so it's gathering up everything I need. And then when I need it, I just put it in my inventory. Not a big deal. And let me get my... Uh, hmm. I'm going to leave that there. 
it doesn't hurt to leave a crafting table. Okay, let's head back to the base and all right. Okay, so I'm going to get that dead up. And yeah, uh, too much. Dig a little too much there. Mess up my base. All right, let's go and get that. Yeah. So I got. Yep. Perfect. That. Not a clue why that's running towards, but you see, I wonder if I go down. That's probably that's why it's running. Nah, not gonna worry about it. Okay, so put that over there. Put the obsidian up, and let's put the buckets up. Let's get a boat. Let's float a boat. There we go. Plenty. And let's see here. Um, oh. Sticks, sticks, sticks and stones may break my bones, but your words will never hurt me. Okay. There we go. Let's make a paddle. That. And a boat. Got it. Got it. Got it. Now I think I'm going to need some carrots. So let me go and gather some carrots here out of. Um, yeah, let's get a stack of carrots, beetroot maybe, and I don't know if, I don't know if they, if the, uh, of course the goat's not going to eat that, wheat, 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 bread, 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 seeds, got it. Few minutes later. Oh, come here goat, um, let me put a carrot, a carrot, a carrot in my, in my hand, stinking fly. Boy, come here, goat. Nope, they don't eat. Did that goat just fly away? Ah, okay. Oh, I knew it was one of these. I had to figure it out. So, second try. Awesome. Come here, goat. Come here. Come here. Come on. Follow me. Follow me. Come on. I know you probably got misses over there, but I got food. You know, it's one or the other. I guess you can have both, but right now is come on, let's do this achievement. I'm on. Be a good goat, mountain goat. Do do do. Right behind me. Okay, good, good. Let's keep on going. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's it. Make your way down. Come on. Probably will pull water up there somewhere. Come on. Come on. There you go. Good goat. Good goat. Come on. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. And I think we could just... Yeah, that'd be kind of cruel. Not kind of, but it would be cruel. So I'm not going to do it that way. <laughs> I thought about this, getting the goat in the boat and drop down and get out of the boat and then let the goat drop. Yeah, that's, that's pretty mean. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not, not the nicest thing to do, right? All right, come on. Come on. Come on down here. Come down here. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Well, let me get you another bite. There you go. You love me. I love you too. All right. So, get the boat. There we go. And we're going to go for a ride. Yes, indeed. Drop, and here we go. Oh, I know. I love you, too. All right. Let's go. You enjoying the ride? 
It's actually not too bad, right? All right. So we're going to fill around here until the achievement pops. And wait for it to go ahead and pop here. There's actually quite a few uh, underwater. Uh, and there we go. Water floats your goat. Get a boat and float with a goat. All right. So that is going to conclude it, guys. Um, so you got it. The um, I explained how I uh, created my guardian farm. And we did a raid in the video and also one achievement. So, yes, that's right. I am going to go back to working on achievements and getting that taken care of. Because getting all the achievements includes taking down the wither and creating a beacon so I can get the beaconator. Um, actually, quite a few withers. And I started working on a wither farm. So that is what I'm going to continue working on. I'm going to head back to the nether and continue working on that. It's going to take a lot of time to work on. And you see my level experience at 83. I can get myself another pickaxe, diamond pickaxe, an enchantment. And put a fishing hand on that baby, and I'm breaking and mending. Oh yeah, I'm gonna tear it up. You know it. All right, guys. Again, thank you so much for uh, checking out my channel, and um, hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, again, this is a family uh, channel. It's for everybody, and uh, I don't care who you are. Uh, share with your family, friends, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and you have a good evening. Bye bye.